Hi everyone. So today I want to share with you um, something called the five Tibetan rites. Um, I do the five Tibetan rites in my classes and um, it's just an amazing sequence. It's five things to remember and um, you can start off by doing just five of each and gradually over the weeks just build it up. Um, the maximum number of repetitions you should build up to is 21. The Tibetan rites are kind of known as the fountain of youth. They were a sequence um, discovered in the 1900s, but um, devised by t Tibetans monks centuries ago. And um, basically, it stimulates, the, it stimulates the endocrine system. So it's, that's why um, it's considered to be um, really good sort of anti-aging, great for tissue formation, great for sex organs, great for um, mental clarity um, and weight loss as well. So um, I'm going to demonstrate how to do it and hopefully you will join along as well. So I'm going to put the phone down here and we will begin. So to start off with, you want to take your arms nice and straight and you're going to rotate in a clockwise direction. So we're going to do everything five times. So focus on a spot ahead of you and we're just going to rotate. You may catch a glimpse of my very sparkly back, which is very nice, sequin back. So breathe as you're turning. And then when you're done, just bring the arms down, breathe down into the feet, take a few moments, you may feel dizzy. Okay, moving on to number two. We come down onto the mat, come down, Take your hands to the floor. So you need to flex the feet, raise the head and look at your toes. Then suck the belly back towards the spine and keep the legs as one, legs nice and straight, bring the legs all the way up. Maybe today this is as far as you can go and take the legs back down. If you can go further, you drop your head back to the floor and bring the legs, the feet over the head and then lower down and lowering the feet. So flexing the toes, looking at the feet, all the way up, head comes back, and lowering down. So moving with the breath. So inhale as you come all the way up, and use the exhale as you come down. Flexing the feet, looking at the toes, legs come up as one, and down. So when the feet come up, lower the head down to the floor and you can just give a little bit of a push further up and lower down. And just take a breath here before we move on to number three. So number three, come to kneeling, taking your hands to the side. You're just going to drop your chin to your chest and then curl all the way down just dropping the top of your head to the mat and then coming all the way up, sending your hips forwards and gazing back. That's one. Two. up and exhale down. Five. Just take a breath here. On to my favourite one. So, take your hands in line with your hips. Take your feet apart. You're going to put the weight onto the soles of the feet as you lift the hips and take your head back, straighten the arms. And then as you come down, pivot on your heels, push your body back so that your hips are in line with your hands and then lowering down, that's one. 
So two, inhale up, exhale down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Last time. Let's take a breath here. And on to number five. And like I said, there are some modifications if this is too hard. You can, you can message me and I can show you the modifications. So, come into an inverted V. Keeping the arms straight, you're just going to come forward onto the toes, looking up. That's one. Inhale as you come forward. Exhale as you push back. The arms are straight the whole time. So if you want to start off, you can start off in cat position here and just go up and down. Exhale, inhale. And then when you're done, just take a few moments. Take three nice long breaths. So namaste, hope you enjoyed it.